we're just going to do some stretching today. I think it's quite good just to do stretching because I've been thinking about it lately that we're, you know, we, we often are trying to sort of aim towards a pose or something. I'm not, I'm not saying us necessarily, but just something that I find. And it is nice just to stretch. So listen to your body. If there's any injuries, then please do come out of poses. Um, so it's not going to be a fast practice, but it will be a strong practice. So let's just come down to the mat, back on the mat, soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. So we're just stretching into the hips. We're opening out the hips. And you can take a little rock from side to side. And the idea is just to try and find yourself on the mat. To create that grounding feeling. Just notice that sacrum, the pelvis, gently rocking. And I want us to start breathing all the way in and just sigh it out. And then again. Take two more. Just sign out. Just notice if you've got any tension in the body, maybe in the shoulders or the head, just see if you can release any of that tension as we breathe out. Just slowly continue to breathe all the way in and all the way out. As you breathe in, just feel that belly rise. Feel that nice stretch and space. Just notice how you're feeling right here, right now. Bring your awareness to the legs and the feet now. Just noticing the knees. If there's any pain, just come out of it. Just adjust. Just coming back towards the ribs. This time as you breathe in, just bring that focus to the back of the body as well. So feel that breath all the way around the ribs as well. You take the hands there if you like. Just slowly moving the awareness to the heart and the shoulders now. As you breathe and just feel that lift. Exhale. Just all the way towards the head now and just feel the back of the head resting against the mat. I want you to take the arms now, just shoot the fingers up towards the sky. See if you can lift the shoulders away from each other. A nice stretch. And as you exhale, gently release. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. So just take a couple more. And this time as you inhale, take the hands up overhead. So stretch the fingers away from the body. Feel the shoulders lifting up towards the ears. A nice big movement. I want you to inhale to lift. Take the hands all the way up so the fingers are pointing towards the feet now. Just sweep them over the head and bring them back. So just take about three of these cycles. We're just exploring nice big movements, nice big stretches. All the time, just breathing in, breathing out. 
Just gently bring the hands to rest on the belly and take three nice big deep breaths. I want you to take the hands and just hug yourself where you are. So a nice big squeeze. Just take the hands as far as they reach. Breathe in for three, for two, for one, and release. I want you to continue that breath. And throughout the practice, see if you can cultivate a sense of breathing in through the whole body and breathing out through the whole body. And always come back to the breath. You're going to take a deep inhale, exhale. And on the next inhale, I want you to draw the knees in towards each other. So you might need to use the hands here. We've been hanging here for a while. Just notice how you're feeling. And I want you to take the hands by the side and inhale as you lift up into your bridge pose. And you can engage the quads, engage the muscles, the inner thigh muscle. So we're nice and active in this bridge pose. Press the feet into the mat. Just keep your neck nice and neutral. You can bring the hands to the waist if you want. You are engaging the glutes a little bit as well. Take one more inhale. And exhale as you gently, really slowly bring yourself back to the mat. I want you to bring each knee into the chest. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. Just come to stillness. Inhale as you lift the forehead towards the knees. Shoot the fingers away from the body. Exhale to release. Inhale to lift. Exhale to release. Take two more in your own breath. Just keep the knees into the chest. And this time I want you to release that left leg so it's nice and straight. Keep it active if you want. And just squeeze that right knee into the chest. And I want you to rotate the ankle in both directions. A few times. And then let's flex and point. You can curl the toes, it's up to you. Nice. And I want us to take a few twists here. So I want you to take the left hand to the outside of that right leg, bring that right arm out straight or whatever's comfortable. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just twist over towards the left. You can make any adjustments here. It's entirely up to you. Release that left hand. So this is quite a deep twist. And supine twists are quite good if you've got lower back issues, but just be careful. Just remember to keep breathing in. Breathing out. And when you're ready, slowly coming back to center on the inhale. So just take your time. We're just going to squeeze that right knee in again. So just notice how you're feeling in this pose, in this position. Now I want you to lift that right leg up in the air and press that right foot towards the ceiling as you flex the toes towards the face. So we're opening up the hamstring here as well now. And if you want, you can gently stretch that hamstring a little bit further as you bring that top leg towards the upper body. You can bring a little bend here. Just take hold of that leg wherever it's comfortable. So just work with the breath. See if you can find any more space in the hamstrings. And 
And if it's available, you can take hold of that right foot. So this is a deep stretch. And we should be feeling it in the hamstrings. Let's just take a few more breaths now. And when you're ready, slowly release and just give your leg a nice little squeeze and just gently bring it back to the mat. And we're going to move over to the left side now. So bring that left knee in and you can straighten that right leg. And we're going to rotate the ankle and we're going to flex the toes and point the toes. And when you're ready, we're going to take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. We're going to bring that left arm out to the side. And we're going to slowly twist over to the right this time. So just do whatever you need with your arms. So again, this is quite a deep twist. Just breathe all the way in and all the way out. So just bring your awareness into how your body's feeling in this moment. Come out of it if you need to. Just a couple more breaths out. And when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back to centre. Just take a moment, notice how your body's feeling. And when you're ready, we're going to lift that left foot in the air this time, pressing it towards the ceiling. Flex the toes towards the face and just start working into that left hamstring. It might be completely different on this side. You know, you're normally looser on one side and it tends to be the right that is sort of more dominant for most of us. That's absolutely fine. You might want to work into that tighter side a little bit. Just be aware of it. Keep breathing in, breathing out. So it should feel like a nice stretch. You should be just on the edge of discomfort or the edge of, you know, moving towards that. But if you've got any pain or any real discomfort, just come out of it. Bring the hands wherever it's comfortable. Just a couple more breaths. I'm going to slowly come out of it and just give that leg a nice little squeeze. Brilliant. We're going to bring the feet back onto the mat, arms by the side, inhale as you lift up into bridge pose. And this time, if you want to lift a leg in the air, you can do that. And I want you to lower the hips and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. One more time and lift. And release the leg. Slowly bring the hips back to the mat. I'm going to take two nice big breaths here. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale and lift up again. And this time you can lift the other leg up and you can do the lower and the lift. It's your choice. Take a couple more lower and lift. Lower and lift. Drop that foot and slowly release that leg. I'm going to draw the knees into the chest. We're going to take the hands on the kneecaps and we're going to do our big butterfly circles. And again, in the theme of today's class, of having a nice big stretch. See if you can use that to create your nice big circle. So think about stretching. Slowly come back to center. Let's take a few in the opposite direction. And we're going to do a little bit of abs as well. 
won't go too much into it, but we'll do a few moments. So slowly, just a couple more circles, and let's come back to center. And I want you to lift the legs up in the air, press the feet against the ceiling, and slowly start opening the legs out wide. So again, we're opening up the legs and the thighs. Take a little rock from side to side. Take it a little deeper if it's there. See if you can work with the breath. And slowly come back to centre. I'm going to bring the arms to the side and I want you to lower the legs and just come to a hover point. And when you're here, I want you to float them up and down. So we're working into the abs now. If you find that you're holding the mat for dear life, then just come up slightly. And just keep floating here. Tap the abs if you want. So they are working. And let's stay here for three, for two, for one, and release. And just bring the knees in. Give yourself a nice little squeeze in a few moments. And then we're going to move on to the next exercise. So this time we're going to bring the legs out to a hover point, bring them out wide, cross over and wide, cross over and wide. So we're working into the abs, tap them here. And I want you to do 10 in each direction if you can. If you can't, that's fine. I've completely lost count. So I think I've got about five to go. So when you've done as many as you wanted to, just bring it in, hug it in. And a nice little rock from side to side. So just take a few moments here. When you're ready, we're going to open. The legs out, just bring them onto the mat, bring the arms up over the head, and we have a nice big stretch. Just breathe with it. And slowly bring the knees in, and I want you to rock up until you're coming into a seated position, but keep the feet flat on the mat. And we're going to do one more abs exercise. And we're going to go from low boat to high boat. So just check you're nicely grounded, nice and neutral in the spine. So I don't want you to be rounding or clenching too much. Inhale as you lift up into your boat pose. And I want you to take it from low boat to high boat. You can do whatever you want with the arms. You can take it out to the side if you want to focus on the obliques. But just keep going here, working into the abs. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And just hug it in. Now I want you to slowly. Come into your cross legged position. So just take a moment to get there. And we're going to continue with our stretching. So when you're in your position, cross legged, just check that you're nicely grounded. So if you've got like your knees lifting up too much, if there's any discomfort there, you can always shove a cushion or a blanket there, that's absolutely fine. And I want you to inhale as you lift the arms up, take the gaze up. Feel the shoulders reaching up. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Just take three more nice big sweeps all the way up, all the way down. Brilliant, and we're gonna to come to a few shoulder rolls. And just take a few in both directions. I've got a bit of a, a dodgy right shoulder, so I'm going to just be a little bit careful. I think I pull something. 
Nice. And just come back. We're going to bring that right hand on the mat, on the right hand side. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen through the left. So take your time. Set yourself up as you start gently stretching over to the right. You can bring the forearm down if you want. But think about that stretch in that left hand side. So breathe in, breathe out. Take a deep inhale all the way in. Exhale. And inhale as we lift all the way up. I want you to take that left arm behind you. Open that right leg out as you inhale and lift. So coming into your heart opener. Take this as far as you want. You can really reach that heart. As, you, as we say, really fill that space in the ribs as well as you draw the sternum up. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come back to the mat. Keep that right leg nice and straight. And we're just going to work into the hamstrings a little bit more. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. So feel that lift. Exhale as you hinge forward over that right leg. Remember to keep that length in the upper body. So what we're doing in this pose is we're stretching into that right side of the body and we're also stretching into the upper body as well. So breathe in as you lift and lengthen and exhale as you reach forward. Don't worry if you can't get the foot, that's absolutely fine. And I want you to slowly come up on the next inhale. Take the hands behind you, stretch that left leg out as well, and inhale as you come into your upside down plank pose. Point the toes away from the body and just let the head gently drop back. So you're working into the shoulders and the triceps a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. On the next inhale, I want you to lift the chin up towards the chest and slowly release. Nice. Take a couple of When you're ready, we're going to slowly come back to our seated position and we're going to work the other side. So just set yourself up, bring that left arm out to the left. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen through the right and stretch over to so just be mindful of any differences on this side. Mm -hmm. You should feel a nice stretch in that right side body. When you're ready, take a nice deep inhale as you come all the way up. Sweep that right arm behind you. Open the left leg this time as we inhale and lift the hips. A nice, beautiful heart lifting the hips. When you're ready, slowly come back to the mat. Keep that left leg nice and active. We're going to just stretch over this side. So we're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. And exhale as we reach forward over that left. 
just take your time. Just appreciate your body for exactly how it is in this moment. Use that breath. When you're ready, let's slowly come up on the inhale. So take your time. You can use your hands to help. We're going to straighten that right leg out. Bring the hands behind you as you come into your reverse plank on the other side. So just lift the hips and take the head back. So again, this is quite good for the neck. It's good for the shoulders. It's good for the triceps. Point the toes away, lift, 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 engage the core. And slowly inhale as you take the chin towards the chest and gently bring the hips back towards the mat. Just take a few moments here. Yeah? When you're ready, I want you to come into your tabletop position. The hands spread out nice and wide, knees below the hips, wrists below the shoulders. And let's take our cat cow breath. So as you inhale, tilt the pelvis towards the mat, draw the belly down, bring the shoulders in towards each other as the gaze comes up. Exhale, reverse that motion. So really take your time, feel that fluidity and nice stretch in the spine. Draw the shoulders away from each other. Just keep blowing. So I can just notice if there's any points where you're experiencing any kind of pain or stiffness. Just be aware of those parts. Don't force anything. You might want to stretch into those bits if that helps. Have a go at some on the fingertips. Take it out from side to side. Let's do some with the fingers pointing towards the body. So we're just stretching into different muscles here. This is quite strong, so be careful. Just take a couple more and come back to your neutral spine. And I want you to inhale as you take that right arm out. So reach it forward. Bring that left leg up. Try to line up the hips, engage the core. Bend that left knee. And we're going to take hold of the left foot in the right hand and inhale as you press and lift. Take the gaze behind you if it's available. Take one more inhale. And exhale to release. Let's move over to the left. So bring that left arm out. Option to take the right leg up. Option to bend the right knee. Take hold of the right foot and stop. Press and lift. And slowly release. And this time I'm going to take that right arm and we're going to thread it under the left armpit. And we're just going to bring that right shoulder to the left. We're just breathing into that right shoulder blade. A nice stretch. And you can use this as a twist as well. So you can 
move the ribs over towards the left as well. So if you want to take the hand, you can just slide it a little bit. And slowly lift up and just sweep that right arm up as well. Just a little cow stretch. And really, so we're going to take that left arm and take it under the right armpit. So we're just moving to the other side. And again, you can draw the ribs over towards the left. And when you're ready, inhale as you lift up and take that left arm behind you. Nice stretch up in the air and release. We're going to tuck the toes under. Inhale as you lift the hips, come all the way up into your downward facing dog. So take a few moments, pedal the feet, bend the knees. We need to really think about the nice stretch that we're getting in this pose. So you're working into the hamstrings, shoulders coming away from each other pressing the hands into the mat, if you're drawing the mat away, and take the gaze towards the navel between the legs. We're going to inhale as we lift the heels, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. One more time, nice and big, and release. And I want you to take your three lion's breaths out. Let's try and breathe into the back of the body, breathe into the pelvis. So we're not just releasing that chest and heart to the mat. We're keeping it nice and strong. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, take the gaze between the hands. We're going to slowly walk the feet towards the hands. And just come into your rag doll. Swing it out, shake it out. Just do whatever you need. Nod the head, shake the head. Just come to your point. Take hold of whatever's available, the toes, the ankles, the shins, whatever. And as you inhale, just lift and lengthen, straighten the arms, exhale to your knees. Slow through a few. Be careful, bend the knees if you need to. Just come to your stillness here. When you're ready, I want you to slowly start coming all the way up. Nice and big. Take the arms up overhead, come onto the tiptoes, nice big stretch. And release. So just take a few shoulder rolls as you slowly come into your tadasana. So you can bring the feet together or you can keep them apart. Lift the toes up, spread them out, bring them back to the mat. A little bit of weight shifted towards the heel, arms by the side. And just take the gaze nice and soft in and breathe in. Breathe out. And inhale to rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into plank pose. Hold your plank pose here, nice and strong in the core. Draw the heels away from the body. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, come into your chaturanga. Open the heart. Downward facing. <coughs> Take one more inhale, exhale, gaze between the hands, 
step or walk, feet to hands. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, gaze to the sky. Exhale to release. In the inhale to rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank pose. We're going to lift that left hand off the mat, coming into side plank on the right side. So resting on that right hand. We're going to bring the knee to the elbow and hold. And lift. Knee to elbow. Release. One more time. Hold it here. Keep it nice and strong. And open it out. And release. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, bring that left hand back to the mat, coming into plank pose. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lower it down through Chaturanga. Open the heart. Bring it into downward facing dog. Inhale, that right leg in the air. Bend the knee, bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand. You can stay on the ball of that right foot if you want. And let's stretch it over to the right. So nice and big. Bring the fingers up towards the sky. You can keep that back knee lifted. And if you want, I want you to rock back and forth on the ball of that left foot. We're just opening up the calves and the hamstrings. And slowly release that right hand to the mat. We just come into a lizard pose for three breaths. And we're going to inhale as we shoot that right leg in the air. And I want you to exhale as you bend that right knee, bring the right foot between the hands. Come into a low lunge, sweep the arms up. You just hold it here, stretching into the legs. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, I want you to frame that front foot and float that left leg all the way up, coming into a standing split. You can have a little play around with releasing the hand. It's entirely up to you. Lift that left foot nice and big. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, I want you to float that left foot back, come into your low lunge again, nice and big. Breathe in. Breathe out. And as you exhale, I want you to frame the front foot and walk the hands to the inside of that right foot, coming into your side lunge, bending into that right knee. And you can release the hands, it's entirely up to you, or you can keep them in that. Nice big stretch. Option to bring the hands all the way up. And when you're ready, we're going to frame that front foot again. And we're going to shoot that right leg in the air. Option two, stack the hips. Option two, wild feet. And when you're ready, come back into your three-legged dog. And you can run through a three-legged vinyasa if you want. And let's all meet in down dog. And we're going to take three line breaths here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale for our halfway lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. And just take a few moments here. You've got about six, seven minutes to go. Just find your Tadasana, reset if you need to. And we're gonna to inhale to run. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's step it back to plank. And we're gonna lift that right hand off, coming into side plank. So on the left hand this time. And option two, bring knee to elbow and lift. Knee to elbow and lift. One more time, hold it here 
and lift. Nice big stretch. And let's release that right hand to the mat. Come back into your plank pose. Take a deep inhale and let's lower it down through Pataranga. Open the heart. Downward facing dog. And inhale that left leg in the air, bend the knee, bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. You can stay on the ball of that left foot. Inhale as we twist over to the left. And you've got the option of rocking back and forth on the ball of that right foot as well. Let's release that left hand. Let's come into this lizard pose for three breaths. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale as we shoot that left leg in the air. Exhale as we bend the knee, bring the left foot between the hands, coming into your low lunge. Hold it here, breathe into the upper body as well. And I want you to exhale as you frame that front foot. And we're going to float that right leg in the air this time for our standing split. You have a go at releasing the hands on that left leg. I'm weaker on this side, for sure. But that's fine. It's nice to have a little go at releasing the hands. Don't worry if you fall or wobble. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly release that right foot to the mat. Come back into your low lunge briefly. And then let's frame that front foot. We're going to bring the hands to the inside of the left foot this time. We're going to come into our side lunge. So we need you there, guys. We've got about three, I think three or four minutes to go. Because I know we started about two or three minutes later. So just stretch into this, the legs here. Feel free to release the hands at any point if you want. When you're ready, we're going to slowly frame that front foot again. We're going to shoot back into three-legged dog. Option to stack left hip over right. Option to come into wild foot. When you're ready, you can come back into three-legged dog and you can do a three-legged vinyasa if you want. But otherwise, we're going to meet in downward facing dog. Take one more inhale. Exhale as you gaze between the hands. Set or walk feet to hands. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. We're going to open the legs out to their mat distance apart. We're coming towards the end of the practice now. So we're going to bring the hands to heart center and slowly start lowering down in your yogi squat. Take your time. When you're ready, I want you to slowly bring your bum to the mat. Bring your feet together to get ready for your butterfly forward fold. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale to release. Just take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just let the back round and just relax here for just a few moments. When you're ready, I want you to slowly come up, bring the knees in together. We're going to make our way into our final Shavasana. I want you to come down. Before you straighten the legs, just come onto the forearms and just breathe into the ribs. Get that lift and space and then bring yourself all the way down. Yeah, it's just gone quarter two, so we've got like two or three minutes. So we should be right. Come into your final shavasana.
And when you're ready, we're just going to start deepening the breath. We're going to slowly start wiggling the fingers and the toes. Let's start rotating the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Let's take a nice big stretch. I'm going to bring the knees into the chest. And just give yourself a nice little squeeze and a hug. And slowly bring yourself up to your comfortable cross-legged position. So keep the eyes closed and the face soft. We're going to bring the hands to heart center. I'm going to end today's practice with our three clearing breaths. Slowly bringing the thumbs up to the third eye and just thanking yourself for today's practice, thanking yourself for your strength and for trying new things. And just remembering sometimes when you practice, it's not about reaching a particular goal or a target. Sometimes it's just about being kind and having a nice stretch. The inner light in me will always honour the inner light in you. Thank you for today's practice. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So we'll be back on Thursday, yeah? Brilliant. <laughs> Take care. And you. Bye. Bye, loves.